Hello! So this is going to be a very random video, um, which should be pretty obvious, because I'm filming from my MacBook and not my camera, and my laundry is over here. <coughs> Sorry about that. And my hair looks very Karen adjacent. You know what, I don't even know what to do with this. I'm just going to let it do its thing. The reason I'm going to do this video, actually, uh, I got the idea to talk about it from another YouTuber whose video I stumbled upon earlier today. They've been in Korea actually only a few months, and they're vegan, and if you know me at all, you know I've been off again, on again, vegan for like years at this point. Mostly off again in Korea, actually. Mm mostly because when I came here back in 2013, being vegan was really difficult. It's less so difficult now. The other YouTuber I'm talking about, their uh, handle is Miss Adventures. I'll link them below. Um, they did a video where they went and tried to scrounge up a vegan meal from a convenience store. And you can tell in their video they had a rough go of it. like. I guess they were told later some of the like snacks that they ate maybe weren't vegan or whatever and like mostly they just ended up with like chips and an ear of corn and some like plain white rice. It's really hard when you've only been here a few months because you don't really like know the language yet, you like can't read anything, it feels like you're a toddler all over again and you struggle to communicate and you struggle to like just understand things around you. I'm far from fluent. I have been here long enough to where I have mastered survival Korean, according to me, anyway. So, like, I know enough to get me in trouble, <laughs> but also enough to help make life um, much easier day to day. So, with that said, I thought I would share some stuff that I was able to scrounge up from the convenience store that is vegan. I did buy more than a meal's worth, um, namely just because I planned poorly this week and <laughs> I thought it might make things easier a little bit. Um, I actually often order my food from outside of the area I live and have it delivered from Seoul because I hate cooking, but this week I didn't order that much because I wasn't sure how much I would need and I knew I was going to have to deal with something and do some sort of cooking or finding food. So, with that said, let me show you what I got. So, now, let me throw in a quick caveat, because I'm sure there's going to be some, like, uppity, militant, diehard vegan in the comments if they happen to come across this video that's going to tell me, well, that's not vegan. Um, I do my best, and, like, I know some vegans like to have different definitions of what being vegan is. Uh, to me... When I say I'm vegan, I mean I eat a plant-based diet, and I try my best not to use any products that come from animals. Um, that said, I've had people before tell me, oh, well that burger that you ate, that's not actually vegan because they also make meat burgers, and so you're helping to perpetuate the suffering and cruelty towards animals, so you're not a vegan. And to that I say, mmm, uh... I'm not going to say anything to that, okay? How about that? So, that said, like, my Korean is not fluent. Uh, I know enough to get by and have things be pretty decently easy. I'm not going to necessarily pull out a translator and translate every ingredient on the back of every label while I'm standing in the middle of a convenience store. But I typically know enough Korean now to where I can sort of pinpoint the things that I know to watch out for. Um, and the things that I don't know, uh, I will gladly accept education if you know better than me. So feel free to provide that information. All right, so first of all, I did not film in the store, um, namely because this store that I went to tonight, I went to a CU that's near my house. It's very small and it would have been excessively awkward to film in there. So I did not, and I did not want to make the Ajuma that works there feel uncomfortable. But this is what I got. 
So FYI, this big bag of stuff from the convenience store cost me um, 26,190 South Korean won, $23.93. But I actually have a discount card through my phone company, so I actually saved 1,500 won. So I actually paid 24,690 won for all that stuff. So in US dollars, that would be $22.55. All right, so let's take a look, shall we? So first we have these. What, 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 get in the frame. Okay, so it looks like they are Sing Sing Gamza Chip. Dashima. So like seaweed and salt flavored. These are the same people that make those honey butter chips, but these ones look to be vegan from everything I can see here. Uh, there are a few ingredients that I'm not 100% sure on, so I will probably check these just to make sure. If you are a vegan out there and you want to know for sure and you're better at Korean than I am, I will show you here what the ingredient list looks like. If you can see it well, feel free to pause. Okay, so I will probably check those just to be on the safe side. Then I got some bananas, because in the morning I like to make oatmeal with bananas and usually like a nut butter or something, or at the very least, like bananas and soy milk and some cinnamon. I got two of these, which are, um, it's like red bean and chestnut porridge, and I got two of them. Uh, because they were one plus one, so I bought one and I got one for free. I got these. I got two of these, which were probably way overpriced for what they actually are, but whatever. Uh, it is sweet potato. This one has, it's like five pieces inside, like cut up, already cooked. I just have to warm it up in the microwave. And this one has four pieces inside. They're calculated by weight. All right, then for the cup noodle enthusiasts out there, like one of the things I have people ask me all the time if they're vegan here is, oh, what kind of vegan ramen do you like or what kind can you get? My absolute favorite, um, which is not, it's not actually technically ramen. Um, it is two different types of like these cup malatang noodles. So they have two different kinds. These are exclusively at CU, as far as I know. And um, I even had a friend check for me, like a Korean friend, because there were quite a few ingredients on the list, which I'm not going to hold up the whole time. But um, they appear to be vegan, and they are wonderful. <laughs> Funny enough, actually, the next one, in the video that Miss Adventures posted, um, they actually had both of these things. Actually, I'll pull out both of them. Um, I did get the roasted corn, just because I haven't had corn in forever. I actually have an active hatred towards corn, just in general, because I'm from Illinois in the U.S. and we're surrounded by corn. But I haven't had corn in a long time, and roasted corn sounded good, so I saw this and I got it. Uh, and then I also got just rice. Now mine isn't plain rice. Uh, this one has quite a few different things in it. It's got some red bean. Uh, here, just, yeah, it's got quite a few things in there. And so it ought to be a little bit more, um, more interesting than just plain white rice. Then I got one of my favorite drinks, which was aloe. It's like an aloe vera drink and it's sweet and wonderful and even if you think the idea of drinking aloe sounds disgusting it's actually really good it's not like putting on that stuff you put on after you get a sunburn like it's not like drinking that it's actually really good then i also got some yellow radish to have with my um spicy noodle or cup noodles and finally, a dessert thing, I got some Lotus Biscoff cookies, which, if you did know, are pretty much always vegan, as far as I've ever known. I've had them before, I make pie crust out of them sometimes for holidays, they're great. So I got some of these, I figured I might have some tonight, I might take some with me to work, to have with coffee, whatever. 
So tonight I'm just gonna have probably one of my cups of noodles and some yellow radish. And I might have some of that corn or sweet potato, I'm not sure yet. I hope that was in any way informative. <laughs> I will say that I actually um, saw other stuff at the convenience store too, but I just opted not to buy it because I had already bought so much. So, uh, But the options are out there if you just know what to look for. So, And I'll even put some uh, Korean Hangul, like Korean alphabet, down in the uh, description or whatever that shows you some of the things you should look out for that you don't want your food to have in it if you're vegan. If you, especially if you're not used to um, reading Hangul yet or if you like don't know any Korean yet. So thanks for watching. Bye!